in unlocking the secrets of the universe. Its discoveries regarding the modern exoplanet have astronomers buzzing, as it may indicate significant developments lurking beneath the surface for an extended period. The quest for finding life beyond Earth has long captivated humanity, and with the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, this quest might soon become reality. The telescope recently revealed a fascinating secret in Proxima Centauri, the nearest star system to us. Among its planets, Proxima B stands out with peculiar artificial lights, leaving the scientific community both intrigued and captivated. Could this be the long-awaited evidence of intelligent life beyond our planetary system? How do researchers determine if these lights suggest the presence of intelligent life on Proxima b? Join us as we delve into how the James Webb Space Telescope detected urban lighting 7 trillion miles from Earth. People have always been intensely curious about the mysteries of the universe, and through technological advancements, our innate drive to explore the Earth and sky continues to push us forward. Despite centuries of progress, Earth remains the only planet known to have life. The age-old question persists. Are we the sole inhabitants of the universe, or are there civilizations hidden among the stars, waiting for us to discover them? To answer this challenging inquiry, American cosmologists Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson initiated a project called The Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, in 1984. This nonprofit effort focuses on spaceborne radio transmissions, which could serve as potential means of extraterrestrial communication. Despite years of searching the sky for reliable signals, there is still no convincing evidence of signals from an extraterrestrial civilization. However, recent reports from NASA suggest that the JWST may have detected artificial city lighting from nearby planets. Is there any substance to this claim? Let's figure it out. The successful launch of the James Webb Space Telescope marks a significant breakthrough in humanity's understanding of the universe. Positioned around one million miles from Earth, this massive telescope serves as our window to the earliest times of the universe, revealing previously unseen observations and insights into the formation of stars, planets, and other celestial bodies. Astronomers utilize the JWST's cameras and filters to capture and analyze the complex spectra surrounding celestial objects. Through the JWST, analysts can gather valuable data about the chemical compositions and physical properties of heavenly bodies in the farthest reaches of the universe. They achieve this by isolating specific frequencies of light beyond basic observation. The JWST investigates and explores the atmospheres of exoplanets for clues of life. Its remarkable ability to see beyond the bounds of reality has led to some of the most astonishing discoveries. For example, through the telescope, astronomers have discovered more mass than previously known to exist in the universe, hidden in numerous massive galaxies. This finding challenges earlier ideas about the structure and extent of the universe. With humanity's determination to explore the farthest reaches of the universe, the JWST is poised to be a crucial tool in unraveling the mysteries of distant galaxies and preparing for new astrophysical discoveries. Just 20 years ago, the space beyond our solar system remained largely unknown, with no known planets. However, astronomers have since discovered over 4,000 exoplanets orbiting distant stars, a testament to human ingenuity and technological advancement. According to NASA, this inventory might be just the tip of the celestial iceberg, indicating the presence of trillions more exoplanets scattered throughout the universe. In the fervent search for extraterrestrial life, scientists continue to explore the possibility of discovering alien territories beyond our previous understanding. During the Galileo spacecraft's journey to Jupiter, its spectroscopic instrument detected a unique spectral mark indicating Earth-bound flora. This notable discovery marked the first time researchers observed a biosignature, the vegetation red edge, VRE, distinctively indicating alien life. By focusing on how it reflects light, the JWST is expected to reveal the questions surrounding extraterrestrial conditions. It will achieve this by carefully analyzing the orbital boundaries of potentially habitable exoplanets found within the habitable zones of their alien parent stars. Once identified, these signals could serve as critical evidence in the search for intelligent life beyond our planet. As daylight passes through the atmospheric layers, the broken-down light, carrying various frequencies, 
is absorbed by the particles and atoms in these layers. This absorption gives rise to a unique spectral pattern, akin to distinct fingerprints that can be interpreted through spectroscopic examination. It is speculated that when light from a star reaches a planet, the JWST will be able to differentiate it as it enters the planet's atmosphere. Thus, the JWST will be key in unveiling the atmospheric composition of remote exoplanets, a fundamental sign of their potential for Earth-like life. Earth-sized planets with atmospheres rich in oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, like Earth, could harbor conditions conducive to life as we know it. However, the absence of expected elements or the presence of unusual combinations could indicate alternative forms of life or even mechanical civilizations. Interestingly, the detection of chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, which are man-made compounds commonly used for refrigeration and industrial purposes, could assist researchers in proving the existence of an extraterrestrial civilization. If the JWST observes such synthetic compounds in the atmosphere of exoplanets, it will open new realms of inquiry for extraterrestrial activity outside our planetary system. This represents a truly exciting challenge for astronomical scientists, opening a new door into the atmospheric compositions of various worlds and the possibility of exotic civilizations well beyond the Milky Way. The discovery of life beyond our planet is characterized by numerous possibilities that go beyond the limitations of natural science. While we envision life as thriving in tranquil environments like ours, the reality might be considerably more diverse and intense. For instance, extremophiles, an intriguing group of organisms predominantly made up of microorganisms, thrive in conditions generally defined as very extreme. These hardy life forms can easily survive and even thrive in conditions typically considered highly inhospitable. As such, the countless dynamics of the universe and the myriad conditions associated with it tell us that our quest for extraterrestrial life must be expansive. Although reference planets such as Earth, orbiting around stable sun-like stars, provide valid potential opportunities, we must also consider alternative scenarios. Promising candidates for investigation might include exoplanets orbiting red dwarf stars, M dwarfs, which are more abundant in the universe. Despite their lower brightness and cooler temperatures compared to our sun, these stars offer excellent opportunities to explore the potential for life in different conditions. The long lifespan of red dwarf stars provides ample time for the slow, complex cycles of life's emergence and evolution to unfold. Located approximately 40 light-years from Earth, the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system stands out as a prime focus for the JWST mission. This intriguing system, consisting of a faint red dwarf star and seven Earth-sized rocky planets, orbits the tranquil red dwarf star. Three of these known planets are deemed habitable and may potentially have water on their surfaces. Though smaller and cooler than our Sun, the TRAPPIST-1 star emits light suitable for supporting life on its orbiting planets. Among the diverse stars in the cosmic community, Proxima Centauri rises as a reference point for potential habitability. Just 4.25 light-years from the Sun, Proxima Centauri is the nearest star to our own. However, its faint glow means that any habitable planet orbiting it must maintain a close distance. The distance of any habitable planet to Proxima Centauri must be about 20 times closer than Earth is to the Sun. Without meeting this condition, none of its planets can support life-sustaining conditions like our planet. In a fascinating discovery on August 24, 2016, cosmologists discovered a planet with 1.3 times the mass of Earth located within Proxima's habitable zone. This Goldilocks-like region provides a delicate balance of light intensity perfectly suitable for melting ice for water and potentially sustaining the seeds of life. Proxima b presents a galactic conundrum orbiting around Proxima Centauri, its host star. This planet, which is just 4.6 million miles from its small red star, faces many challenges to its potential to support life. Proxima b is extremely close to its host star, exposing it to strong solar winds that could strip away its atmosphere and render it barren. Despite these extreme conditions, Proxima b receives enough sunlight to maintain Earth-like temperatures where water is in liquid form. However, the planet's close orbit likely results in tidal locking, leading to one side of the equator experiencing constant high daylight while the other experiences absolute darkness. The situation resembles the Moon's relationship with Earth in our planetary system. 
With just 18% of the mass of the Sun, Proxima Centauri emits significantly less light than expected, combined with its proximity to Proxima b, just 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun. Proxima Centauri defies traditional assumptions, indicating that Proxima b may not be a typical planet. Instead, it may hold hidden secrets. The JWST's discovery of light sources similar to Earth's artificial lighting on Proxima b has prompted scientists to consider the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Astrophysicists anticipate that future scientific data will solidify Proxima b as a candidate for extraterrestrial life. The radiance patterns on Proxima b are closely monitored by the JWST. If these patterns maintain consistent radiance and are repeatedly observed, it might suggest a definitive sign of intelligent life. While the search for signs of life continues to evoke awe and curiosity, it remains to be seen whether these patterns will ultimately serve as compelling evidence of intelligent life on Proxima b. Proxima b may not be the blazing hell one would expect for a planet so close to its star. Despite the challenges posed by its close orbit and the potential loss of its atmosphere to solar winds, Proxima b offers compelling opportunities if it harbors a protective atmosphere capable of trapping heat. The presence of an atmosphere on Proxima b might indicate the existence of oceans and raise the prospect of life. The challenge to detect natural trends on Proxima b has bolstered the hypothesis that such organisms might have devised clever solutions to overcome the planet's inhospitable conditions. One intriguing idea suggests deploying large solar chargers across Proxima b's dayside. These panels would harness the star's energy to illuminate and warm the perpetually dark and cold night side, potentially transforming the desolate landscape into habitable zones that could support life. The discovery of Proxima b has ignited a heated race among astronomers to determine if it transits its star's face as seen from Earth. These transits could enable scientists to measure the planet's size and mass, thereby determining its density, confirming its rocky composition, and providing insights into the materials that make up its rocks. Additionally, starlight passing through Proxima b's atmosphere during these transits provides clues about the structure of its atmosphere and its habitability. Despite the challenges, the search to unravel the mystery of Proxima b remains a priority, driven by humanity's insatiable thirst for knowledge and the possibility of other life forms beyond our solar system. Another factor to consider is Proxima Centauri's turbulent nature, capable of significant flares. This adds complexity to investigating the habitable universe of Proxima b. Cosmologist David Kipping from Columbia University describes the star as volatile, highlighting the challenge posed by its variable heating patterns. While rocky planets generally absorb sunlight and emit infrared radiation, Proxima's case differs. Its infrared signature differs from that of its host star, providing a unique opportunity for observation. The James Webb Space Telescope acts as the savior in this endeavor, as it can detect infrared frequencies. Proxima's unique infrared intensity signature is what will help us discover the secrets of its weather. The advanced infrared imaging capabilities of the JWST are fully equipped to reveal the secret of Proxima B's atmospheric components and provide novel insights into the possibilities of life on it. Furthermore, the JWST's infrared sensitivity extends research to Proxima b's night side. Despite the daunting task of detecting faint artificial illumination against immense darkness, the JWST's advanced technology allows it to detect even the slightest flickers of light. The James Webb Space Telescope may be able to confirm the rumors about city lighting on Proxima's night side, even if they were as weak as the lights we currently use at night. Although Proxima b's unique climate poses challenges, it also presents an intriguing relationship between its surface features and celestial interactions. By observing the amount of temperature variation, astronomers can gain valuable insights into Proxima's climatic structure. With its unparalleled infrared imaging capabilities, the JWST will scrutinize the planet's thermal emissions, providing valuable information about its atmospheric properties. Remarkably, the JWST's orbit around Earth aligns with Proxima's orbital length, facilitating continuous observations of both its day and night sides within 11.2 Earth days. Assuming that Proxima b has an atmosphere, the next step is to analyze its atmospheric chemistry to see if it could support life. Certain gases, such as oxygen, water vapor, or even methane, if present, are good indicators of habitable conditions and the potential for life. 
However, analyzing these gases requires capturing and analyzing light beams interacting with or passing through Proxima's atmosphere, an inherently challenging task. While the James Webb Space Telescope provides significant opportunities for characterizing planetary atmospheres, its primary mission is different. The telescope is primarily tuned to study methane, carbon dioxide, and water vapor concentrations. Although it is limited in detecting enhanced oxygen, a strong signature of life. Despite its limitations, the JWST may still have reasons to search for other materials. This includes ozone, which can provide information about the natural level of energy in the planet's atmosphere. Additionally, the JWST does not have absolute capabilities, and its gaze is limited to three of the closer and potentially habitable worlds. To conduct a more comprehensive atmospheric analysis, Astronomers are turning to ground-based observatories like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, planned to start operations in 2028. The ELT is uniquely positioned to delve deeper into the atmospheric composition of remote exoplanets, providing invaluable insight into their habitability. As we eagerly await the deployment of future space telescopes, the James Webb Space Telescope remains a critical tool in unlocking the secrets of the universe. Through its unparalleled capabilities, it continues to push the boundaries of our understanding, offering hope for new discoveries and revelations about the mysteries of distant worlds.